Hello and welcome to this Tramway UI tutorial video featuring our recently redesigned test details page. Let's jump in and see what's new. I'm currently logged in and viewing the My Tests page. For this video, we're going to be looking at a UX war we ran back in October, where we are comparing the usability of eHow.com and wikiHow.com. Let's take a look at this wikiHow test. You may notice we've opted for a card layout. On this left card, you'll find top-line information such as the test title, the test ID, the device type, and so on. While on this right card, underneath Edit, Duplicate, and Delete, you'll find the ability to order a new sprint or preview the test. Scrolling down, you'll find UX Diagnostics and much of the same information you should be used to seeing already. You may also notice that to the right, UX Crowd has been tabbed in. You can very quickly tab back and forth between UX Diagnostics and UX Crowd. Current and former customers will note that the display for UX Diagnostics is a bit different, and we'll touch more on that later. For now, just note that since we selected the SUS for our circuit metric, the 10 questions are displayed here in the top row, users down the left, and the deviations to the far right. Continuing down, on the next card, you'll find test videos. As usual, on the left, you'll find the users, and then a column for video where you can play, share, download, or delete, a rating for each tester, notes, and tags. Like with UX Diagnostics and UX Crowd before, post-test survey has been tabbed into this card. When we tab over to post-test survey, we can expand or collapse the post-test survey questions we prompted our testers with. Just underneath this card, you'll find generate highlight reel, generate executive summary, order transcripts, and export all test data. Returning to our UX Diagnostics tab, you'll find that we have a new way of displaying your test results. These circle graphs are updated and displayed in real time as you select and deselect testers. Say for example I want to see which of my testers had the most trouble. I would first scroll down to the table and look for the most extreme deviation. Hmm, it looks like Mike S had more trouble than almost everyone else. Now I'll scroll back up and start looking at some of these subtabs, such as task usability. Once clicking it, I see that there's the average already outlined, and then I can select Mike. This will be the same for task completion as well as task duration. Now let's return back to our psychometric tab, which for this test is the SUS. Let's pretend that we've reviewed Mike's video and found that his experience isn't indicative of the experience overall. This could be due to tester error or a technical difficulty. We can now deselect Mike from the overall score and see how it changes in real time. Just for fun, why don't we take out the other lowest score as well? Now we can feel really good about our usability score. This concludes the Trauma UI tutorial video on our recent test details page redesign. We hope you enjoy the new design and can find all the information you need quickly and efficiently. If you need more assistance, please feel free to comment below or reach out to our support team. Thank you for getting the user's view with Trauma UI.